Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday. Good morning, my beautiful, lovely people. Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it, y'all. Good morning. Happy Monday. Okay, y'all. Let me pull up the morning devotion on my uh on my computer. Um let me share with y'all yesterday. We had a um, sisterhood conference at my church, and um, this uh, the speaker, she came and spoke last year. Last year she came and spoke. I still remember her message that she spoke last year, and her message she spoke last year was "Look Again." So uh, this year she came yesterday, and I always know when she comes, like she gonna bring that fire with her. She gonna bring that fire. She gonna bring that energy. I mean, I love speakers that when they come, they come and they bring that fire and it just stirs you up. Like it just stirs up your spirit. And that's what she did on yesterday. She had us all stirred up. She had us all engaged. I was like, yes. Like, I'm like, every time she comes, she just bring that fire with her. Like, you know, but she blessed us. She blessed us on yesterday, and her message was, which, was it, would you, I think it's would you, which, or would you rather, would you rather, and she gave us like this, um, she gave us like this you know, uh, analogy, like, it was like she played a game with us, and uh, she said she played with her student, because I believe she might be a teacher or something, and she played this game with us and she was asking us different questions like would you rather um she said would you rather hey how does it go would you rather spend a week with jesus or would you rather uh, partake in his resurrection and so some of us was like resurrection resurrection and so then she was like, would you rather have a 30-minute conversation with Esther or a 30-minute conversation with Basti? Basti, Basti. Basti was the wife um, that the king, that the king, what was his name? Zerex, 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 which is the king that who Esther married. And so... Basti was the queen first, you know, before she passed, you know, she through for her, uh, her death, then Esther came. And I was like, I don't want to have a 30-minute conversation with Esther. Like, Esther, like, you know, what was it like as you was preparing the people to go on a fast? You know, I want to know, have a conversation with Esther. So she was just asking us different, you know, different questions, would you rather? And um, it was so... Man, it was so powerful. It was so powerful. And then another thing, another word, a message she used was, you have to make a choice. Like, you have to make a choice. And she was sharing her t her testimony, like, uh, she was saying a few years back, like, um, she's going through this trial, this, this trial. And she said she, it almost caused her, you know, like, to come out, to act out of flesh. And so she said, God, she had to make a choice. You can either act out of your flesh or you can allow the spirit to take over. You know, you can go through this. And so, you know, she went, you know, she went through it. And it was so encouraging because it kind of reminded me like different tests that I had to go through. And I know some I was like, I had, you know, want to act out of my flesh. And then I would hear the Holy Spirit telling me like, like, no don't do this like don't do this and sometimes like no i need to put them in a place and god you know i would get god say melissa don't do this like vengeance is mine you don't have to do this so but it was so powerful i really enjoyed myself um i'm glad i stayed i mean i had to usher anyway i had to usher the second service so i was glad that i was able you know to stay because it was a powerful message i got my okay i got it now yeah, y'all, so um, let me share this morning devotion with y'all. I just really want to share that. Um, 
So the morning devotion is on the right fear. The right fear. And when I saw the topic, I was like, the right fear. I didn't I, I only I haven't I didn't even read this yet. So I don't know what it's about. So I'm interested in knowing what this morning devotion about because it said the right fear. And so we're gonna get right into it. And okay, before we get started, I'm gonna lead us in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ, ruler of all things, Lord, I pray and ask that you lead and guide me on this morning devotion, that you anoint my mouthpiece, let flesh decrease and you increase. Lord, grant me the knowledge and the clarity of your word, Lord Jesus, to give to your people on today. I pray and ask that you look on your beautiful people on today, Lord. I pray and ask that you meet every need, that you touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet, Lord Jesus, that there's sickness in their body. I pray that you heal them right now. You are the God that heals from all illness, sickness, and disease. Lord, I pray that you bind every spirit of distraction, every stronghold, every attack of the enemy. Rebuke back the powers of darkness right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray and ask that you meet every need on today, whatever it is they stand in need of. Lord, I pray that you help them. Give them a mind to call on you, Father. And I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. So the morning devotion for today is the right fear. And it reads, and this is a scripture that goes with it, Psalms 147, verse 10 through 11. And it reads, his pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him. So, I get the right fear. Who fear him? Okay, you all, I'm back. I had a student at the door, but I'm back. So, what was I? So, it says, The Lord delights in those who fear him, who pit their hope in his, unfall, in his unfallen love. And that's Psalm 147, verse 10 through 11. And the morning devotion reads, do you ever feel like your dreams may be big, but you are small, looking around? You see other, you see others conquering their career, flexing their muscles of influence, slaying projects, gloping by, glopping, glopping by as they accomplish all on the to go to do list. She got the promotion or the baby or the marriage, or the house, or the leadership role, or the talent. In our latter climbing world, it, it often feels like our rungs, our rungs are breaking off in our hand. And we, and when our source of worth comes from climbing up, climbing up, what happens when you just feel stuck at the bottom? Remember, all those outer Outward signs of power are not what brings the light to the Lord. I'm going to say that again. All those outward signs of power are not what brings the light to the Lord. It is your heart. It is your heart. His delight is in finding you. His delight is in finding you seeking after him to be the fulfiller of your dreams, your source, your strength. Your only hope for power more than the praises of any man or woman. Wouldn't you like to know that the God who created the universe is delighted in you? Is delighted in you specifically. You who fear. You who fear and hope in God. He takes great pleasure in you. And uh, there's a prayer that go with this, and it said, "God, I want to be counted among those who fear you. I want, I want, I want to be counted among those who fear you and follow your voice. I hope in you. I hope in you and you alone. Thank you for delighting in me. So I guess that's why it's titled the right fear. You want to have the right fear. There are so many fears in life. Some people are afraid of." Um, that's afraid of spiders 
they're afraid of dogs. But you want to have the right fear, like to fear. Some people you want to be, you know, to fear God. You know, having the right fear of fear, you know, to fear God. They're not doing anything, you know, um, offensive to him. You know, some people, they just don't fear God. Some people, they do things and they just don't fear God. They don't feel that God, you know, he will do, he will, you know, punish them. So that's why you want to have the right fear. And the right fear is to fear God. You want to fear God. If you don't fear God, that's just like you just have a, you don't have a conscience. You just like, you do things, you just don't have a conscience. You just do it to be doing it. And you don't fear him. Like, you don't fear the consequences behind it. You don't fear that God is going to punish you. He's, you know, you're going to be judged on it. So, but I pray you all was blessed by this message the right fear and as you're going about your daily tasks um you just keep that in mind like you want to fear god you want to fear god you want to have like that um i know me when i would go through different things i want to be able to feel that if i do something that god is like you know like i don't i want that feeling of like don't do it like god I, you know, God, would, I'm going to get it. I'm going to be punished, you know, because when you don't get that feeling, you just like, you don't have a remorse. You don't have a conscience. So um, I pray that you are always blessed by this message. I pray that it blesses you, it strengthens you, it encourages you on your um, your daily task on today. But until next time, it's your girl, Melissa. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Oh, one more thing before I end this video. I pray that you all... I'm blessed by the uh, the new beginners Bible studies that I've been sharing. I've been in uploading. Um, God really has been helping me with it. And, um, you know, he's been taking me into, you know, different direction. You know, I, sometimes he'll give me a, a book from the Bible or he'll lead me to uh, teach on topics from my, uh, from my, my new, the new beginner class I was in. You know, when I, um, first came to the church that I'm at now. So I pray that it blesses you because God wants you um, to grow. He wants you to grow in your faith walk. And I just thank him from Eve. I just thank him from Eve for even putting it on my heart, like to share lessons, um, books from the Bible, or to share lessons from the, uh, the class that I used to be in. Because, you know, I don't even know if you know different other churches they have that have a class like that so when i came over here to the church i'm at now the church that i'm at now i was excited i was excited because i'm like this is awesome like you know you just got saved you need this and my old church they didn't have them classes so i thank god for it and i thank god for using me to help you all but um until next time it's your girl melissa be blessed in jesus name